Dear viewers, we are so excited by your response to our channel. Thanks a lot for giving so many likes and share to our previous videos. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, please subscribe so that you will get notified for our upcoming videos. And now let's come to the topic. Three phase half wave bridge rectifier. It converts three phase alternating current into direct current. As it converts only half wave of each phase. That's why it is known as three phase half wave rectifier. It consists of three diodes and their anode terminals are connected to the secondary winding of a three phase transformer. The DC load is connected between the common cathode point and neutral terminal of star connected secondary winding. Here in this example the primary winding is delta connected. When three phase voltage is given to the primary winding three phase current get set up in the winding as primary winding is delta connected that's why the phase current differs in 30 degree phase angle with line current the flux produced by this current induces EMF in the secondary winding. The EMF that induced in the secondary winding tries to set up current through the DC load connected to the secondary winding. When R phase is at its peak value, maximum conduction occurs through the power diode D1 as it is forward biased and it blocks the current through it during negative alteration as it is reverse biased. During maximum value of voltages of Y phase and B phase, other two diodes conduct in similar manner. In this way, because of the presence of diode in each phase of secondary winding, the current in each phase flows in forward direction through the load and enter into the neutral terminal. In any of these phases, current can never flow in reverse direction because of the reverse blocking capability of diode. In this way, bidirectional means alternating current gets converted into unidirectional that is direct current. The limitation of this rectifier is that the secondary winding consists of DC component of current which can cause the transformer core to get under saturation problem. Therefore, it is not advisable to use three phase half wave rectifier for large power applications. So this is about working of a three phase half wave bridge rectifier. Hope now you have a basic understanding of it. Later on we will discuss more about it in our upcoming videos. For now we would like to finish up the presentation. Hope you like this video. If yes, then let us know by clicking on like button. Haven't you subscribed yet? Please subscribe and don't forget to share this with your friends.